hi guys uh okay so today the focus is on this lace closure yes i'm not showing you guys my face i'm not in the mood that big <laughs> i think i don't have strength to package let me just show you guys the the coco this is the this is what the video is about so you don't need to see my face um honestly guys i'm just a mess and i don't have strength i wasn't able to really style my wig so i don't have strength yes this is me being me this is me being me like choosing not to show you guys my face is me being me <laughs> so deal with it anyways um but really i want to be able to just do this video i mean you, you, there are videos out there on youtube where people don't show their faces right so it's not supposed to be a big deal except that i'm actually starting to make it look like a big deal well it's not so um yeah it's about this lace closure this is a four by four this is a very typical four by four lace closure yeah it's a french lace it's not a swiss lace you know there's swiss lace there's french lace there's korean lace there's there's different kinds of laces out there there's a german lace and even when you when, when it comes to swiss lace actually there's so many types of swiss laces you know swiss laces come in deniers i don't know if other laces come in deniers as well but i'm only familiar with the lay um swiss lace deniers like the 15 denier 17 denier the 20 30 40 44 denier like the the higher the number the thicker the lace and the the lower the number the thinner the lace so yes but this is french lace right i just want to show you guys the knots are actually bleached and you can see there is no brassiness whatsoever like it is not brassy at all it is so beautiful um I'm actually supposed to show you guys another sample of this so that you guys can see the before and after. So I think that's what I should have done before I started this video. Uh, but um, let's just um, go on. So yeah, I created some beautiful, cool toned, cool neutral highlights. Yeah, so if you guys could see the highlights in it. Right. So yeah. I created some very beautiful cool neutral it's not it's not cool cool it's cool neutral it has some neutral tones to it uh so yeah okay so but i want to show you guys the knots now i have a very special technique for bleaching my knots and uh you pretty much have to just keep trying out different stuff until you find out a technique that works for you there's so many techniques out there uh so many products there's just tons of products out there and so many techniques out there actually so you just i i love originality i i, I actually learn from other people but then i implement what i learn and i try to be creative and uh i always make sure that i use the best products and um you know and i get the best results uh Yes, the Holy Spirit always helped me. Like, the Holy Spirit is my greatest inspiration and instructor. Like, trust me on that, guys. <laughs> I don't know how he does it, but he just does it all the time. He teaches me, like, he leads me, shows me uh, pages to check out, you know, teaches me techniques to try out. And, you know, sometimes I mess things up and he still helps me to just put myself together and, you know, try again. And, you know, it's just... It's really beautiful having to rely and depend completely on the Holy Spirit. Like, he's perfect. Like, who better to be my instructor and my mentor <laughs> than the Holy Spirit? Yes, I had to add that in because the Holy Spirit is a major part of my life. Like, he is the core of my life. So, everything I do revolves around the Holy Spirit. Yeah, it doesn't mean I'm perfect, you know, because, you know, we human beings, we can just make a mess of everything. But, you know, even in my weaknesses and in my imperfections, the Holy Spirit always helps me. He's really a comforter. He comforts me. He, he teaches me. He reminds me of the things that he teaches me. He helps me, literally. The word is help. Like, the Holy Spirit literally helps me. But how did I just go from talking about this lace to talking about the Holy Spirit? <laughs> Anyways, okay, so this is what it really looks like so you guys can see how beautiful the lace is there are no patches there are no brass there's no brassiness you know and 
you if you're into lace lace wigs you know that it's very difficult to bleach black knots like this is like a typical 1b black hair of course except for the highlights that i gave it but the the knots were just completely black um you need to know these things bleaching the knots of your lace whether it's a closure or frontal or full lace wig uh bleaching somewhat um um what's the word again it's it's it tampers with the integrity of the knots if that's the right word i'm looking for um so when you bleach your knots it weakens the knot right so i usually say this when it comes to lace wigs there's always this there's always this battle between realism and durability. Do you understand? So the more realistic your lace systems will be, the less durable they will be. You know, for instance, if you want a very undetectable lace, lace frontal, like if you want like something that will melt effortlessly into your skin, you're thinking about a film lace, like a HD like the true, because there's so many things out there people call HD, but like the real high definition film lace and it's a very delicate lace so it is not going to be as durable as perhaps a 40 denier lace i, I mean no matter how careful um or meticulous you can be i mean being careful with your laces is, is going to really help a whole lot but you know wearing a 15 denier swiss lace and a 40 denier Swiss, so they're two totally different things. Like the 40 denier is, you know, at least is, it's it's not as delicate as the 15 denier. My point is the more realistic you want your laces or your lace systems to be or look, uh, the less durable it, it, it may tend to be. And so you, you, there's always this battle between do I want it to be more realistic or more durable? But guess what? That is exactly what my total wigs are really all about. My total wig. My total sort of week collection is really about realism and durability. Now, your three key factors, like three, like the three goals or the three things or focuses of my of my total sort of wigs are realism, convenience, and durability. So I think those three things are like the three key things that I look out for in any lace system i'm sorry that i just deviate from what i'm talking about so yeah so my point is yeah this is um this is a, a typical this is a french lace sorry i keep deviating and you know rambling and talking about everything else but what i'm supposed to be talking about so this is a typical four by four french lace uh so yeah the knots were really really black and i had to bleach it now I actually bleached the knot three times. Yes, don't on screen. Three times. Don't try this, please. Listen, like I said, you need to develop a technique that works for you, right? Bleaching the knot three times is a very, very, you know, risky thing to do because the more you're bleaching the knot, the more you are, you know, messing with the integrity of the knot, the more you weaken the knot, you know, and the piece won't be as durable as, as it should be but the truth is they are um there are techniques that you can actually apply uh, you know to help you achieve something that is very realistic and still durable right like this is just i'm supposed to like place it over my so that you guys can see how i don't know if you guys so yeah sure you guys can see it I'm gonna put it as close as possible. So you can see how, you know, it's just like skin, it just, you know, it blends. There are no black knots. I'm sure you can find like one or two cause you know, these knots are really difficult to bleach. So yeah, that is what, okay. So yeah, so um, I bleached it three times. Yes, I went, you know, I had, I, I bleached it three times and I did that using, you know, I'm sure some of you already know about the bonding technology that is sometimes incorporated in our bleach, hair bleach these days, like very good products, you know, very good quality 
uh, good brands usually um incorporate the bonding system to their bleach powders and and um and they also have like extra products and all that but yeah the whole like olaplex is really about the whole bonding technology and everything but the point is i mean that inclusive um you know the kind of bleach i used how long i let the bleach sit and again this is a french lace this is not a swiss lace the French lace is typically stronger than the Swiss lace, but then again, there are Swiss laces that are that are equally as strong as French laces, if not even stronger, right? But what you need to know is that like this, this lace is a French lace. It has very tiny knots, so very tiny holes, because the holes, the holes on the lace system actually plays a major, you know, it's it's a huge determinant. You know for what kind of te technique you're going to use on your laces i'm sorry i'm just doing a lot of talking i know that you guys love to see these things and hopefully i get to show you guys but you know uh i'm still working on that i just wanted to have like a chit chat while i show you guys this so this is basically like a chit chat my goodness it's 11 minutes already this is not going to exceed 15 minutes i promise um uh, okay so um yeah the the whole the holes in the lace the holes are pretty tiny so the tinier the, the holes are, the more difficult it is for the bleach to actually penetrate to the knot, right? And uh, I always love to actually use um, laces with tinier holes because, you know, it gives the knots more security than laces that have wider holes, right? But then there's, there, there's a twist to it, like, um, there's some Swiss laces that have... Um, larger holes and um uh, sorry the, the, sometimes gosh well when you're dealing with the swiss laces this is what i this is at least, at least this is what i'm familiar with some swiss laces some hd swiss laces have larger holes of course the material is thinner but the larger it is the easier it is to actually disappear on skin but the tinier the tinier the holes you know the more you are going to see grids you know what grids are you know, the grids of the lace and, you know, the, ho the holes, like, typically the grids.